how to give dawah, calling them to Islam, to the non-Muslim. In the name of Allah the Most Compassionate, the Most Merciful. Praise be to Allah the Lord of all creations here on earth and in the heavens, may he bless his last prophet, Saz, and the pure progeny, as, of the prophet, and his righteous companions, R.A., and to the true Muslims around the world. Allah, SWT, said in the glorious Quran in chapter 16 and the verse is 125 invite, all, to the way of your rabbi with wisdom and in beautiful preaching, and argue with them in ways that are best and most gracious, for your rab knows best, who have strayed from his path and who receive guidance. Quran 16 125. From these word of Allah, we can understand that giving dawah or calling the people to Islam is an obligatory task given to us by God as Muslims that found the truth in his deen, religion. We need to share our knowledge to others, remember give and you will be given, so if you want that God increase your knowledge you need to share it to others, for them to learn also as you have learned and gained knowledge from Allah. But we must not forget, the very reason why we are giving dawah to others, that is why we want them to call to righteousness. In this article we will discuss insha'Allah how we perform and give dawah to the non-Muslims and also to those who are saying that they are Muslims but do not acting on the moral which Islam teaches to us. Insha'Allah may he enlighten our minds and souls add give us knowledge according to his holy will. Amin. Steps 1. Define add make sure about your intention in doing dawah. You need to have a pure and good intention because Allah is good and pure so he only accepting good and pure offerings. And we must know that our actions are will be judged by our intentions. And we must have the intention to seek only Allah's pleasure and to seek closeness to him and not because of showing OFF that we are a knowledgeable person, if your intention is this Allah will never five you a reward, but punishment and torment and also he will not accept the good deed you have done because of your showing off. And the worst is God will call you a liar on the judgment day and he will put you in the hellfire as a punishment of your hypocrisy, like the religious scholar narrated. In a hadith. 2. Pray to God and ask for guidance and a sound mind for you to be able to share your faith according to his holy will add not by your own desire. For God to answer your dua you must need to have a righteous life far from doing unlawful things, remember Allah, God is far removed from every imperfection and only accepts that which is lawful, 23 colon 51, 2 colon 172, so if you are living with the unlawful lifestyle, one thing is for sure, Allah will ever accept and hear your dua to him except you repent and ask for his forgiveness. When you are making a dua you also need to be patient, sober, and do not be one of the unsincere servants as the prophet, Saz, said in a hadith, the dua of any one of you will be answered so long as he is not impatient and says, I made dua, but it was not answered. And also he said let not any one of you say, O oh God, forgive me if you will, O oh God have mercy on me if you will. Let him be resolute in the matter, whilst knowing that no one can compel God to do anything. So be one of the patient Muslims. However sometimes God responds in a different way, he might keep some evil away from the supplicant, or he will reward him with something good, but not exactly what the supplicant asked for. It is important to remember that God knows what the future holds and we do know, 2 2.16, sometimes God will save his response to a dua until the day of resurrection when a person will be most in need of it. CF 3. Teach yourself to be humble and to control your temper pz we humans are created by God in order for us to worship him, 51.56, so if you really understand the purpose of your creation, you will never be like the arrogant people, you will learn to humble yourself in submission to God and do not be like Iblis who refuses to prostrate and give homage and respect to Adam. 15 30, 35, remember that those who are humble and God-conscious are most honorable i the eyes of Allah i the mids of us. You must keep away yourself to the men with their pride, because Allah does not love each arrogant boasters. 31 18. Remember that if Allah gives you good things or let's say you learn new knowledge, instead of being an arrogant person, the more you need to humble yourself to others, because Allah loves the humble toward other creation. Being a humble person is a sign of a true Muslim, 25,83. We humans are created by God in order for us to worship Him, 51,56, so if you really understand the purpose of your creation, you will never be like the arrogant people, you will learn to humble yourself in submission to God, and do not be like Iblis who refuses to prostrate and give homage and respect to Adam, 15,30, 35. Remember that those who are humble and God-conscious are most honorable i the eyes of Allah i the mids of us. You must keep away yourself to the men with their pride, 
because Allah does not love each arrogant boasters, 31,18. Remember that if Allah gives you good things or let's say you learn new knowledge, instead of being an arrogant person, the more you need to humble yourself to others, because Allah loves the humble toward other creation. Being a humble person is a sign of a true Muslim, 25,83. PZ. 4. Seek knowledge in every field of the religion. Allah love those who seek knowledge, Behar al Anvar v. 1, p. 172, Al Kafi v. 1, and seeking knowledge is much better than performing fast and salat a thousand years, Behar al Anvar v. 1, p. 166, MashaAllah, you see how important the seeking of knowledge. God will grant you more of this if you will do it for His sake. O young nation, keep your honor by being polite and your religion by knowledge. Knowledge is more than what you can learn all of that, then learn the best one. Gor al hikam And it is said in the Quran, say, O Muhammad this is my way, I invite to Allah with sure knowledge. Yusuf, 108. Tips You must be of sure knowledge before teaching anything from Islam to another person. This means that you confirm your knowledge with scholars and are aware of the dalil, evidence, before spreading what you know. Imam Hassan said, teach your knowledge to others and, try to, learn yourself the knowledge of others. Bihar, Al-Anwar, Volume 78, Page 111. We should speak with confidence but at the same time we must. Imam Sadiq peace be upon him said, keep your books well since you need them soon. Behar al-Anbar v. 2 p. 152. Abu Darda, R.A., narrated that the Prophet, S.A.W.S., said, There is nothing heavier than good character put in the scale of a believer on the day of resurrection. The best one to be learned by teenagers is what they will need when become old. Najul Balaga of Ibn Abul Hadid v. 20 p. 333-817 Word, Seek knowledge when you are still young. Obtaining knowledge on younghood is like to engrave on stone. Safinat al-Bahar p. 680. Imam Sadiq peace be upon him said, Behave humbly with your teacher. al kafi v. 1 p. 36. It is necessary that Dawa is based on the Quran and Sunnah. Be kind and use a good language. To gain knowledge is better and takes precedence over giving Dawa. And it is possible for the student of knowledge to give Dawa while he is gaining knowledge. And there is no way that one could give Dawa without knowledge, Allah Ta'ala said, Say, O Muhammad this is my way, I invite to Allah with sure knowledge. Yusuf, 108. So how could there be Dawa without knowledge? And no one has ever given Dawa, before, without knowledge, never, and whoever gives Dawa without knowledge will not be successful. Kitabul ILM, P.145. Translated by, Abu Abdul Wahid, Nadir Ahmad. The Holy Prophet said, he who propagates religious affairs without having required competency does a disservice to the religion rather than serving it, Bihar, Al-Anwar, Volume 2, page 121. Do it in the way of the Prophet, Saws, read 16, 125. If we want to make du'a then we must be honest and trustworthy. Think in this idea deeply, let's say you are a known liar i your community and everyone is know you as cheater, now the question is do you think that your neighbors will listen and believe you when you gave them dawa? Of course not, so therefore teach yourself first before you teach other, clean your own house first before cleaning the house of your neighbor. For example we should not preach that the prayer is important but in fact we don't pray. In short you need to act according to what you teach. Imam Hassan Mojtaba peace be upon him invited his children and brothers then said, Surely you are child now and soon will be old then seek knowledge, and whoever cannot memorize it, should write and keep it in his house. Maunyad al Morid p. 196 Taking down notes are very important. I in another hadith it says, write knowledge since you can't memorize unless with writing. Heart confides to written. al kafi v. 1, Behar al-Anvar. Warnings Do not be hyper-abrupt. Allah's Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, said, do not acquire knowledge in order to compete with the scholars, nor to argue with the ignorant, nor to gain mastery over the gatherings. Since whoever does that, then, the fire. The fire. Imam Sadiq said, be careful of your knowledge and see from whom you get it. Bihar, Al-Anwar, Volume 2, Page 92. That he heard Allah's Apostle saying, if a judge gives a verdict according to the best of his knowledge and his verdict is correct, i.e. agrees with Allah and his Apostle's verdict, he will receive a double reward, 
and if he gives a verdict according to the best of his knowledge and his verdict is wrong, i.e. against that of Allah and his apostle, even then he will get a reward. Sahih Bukhari, Volume 9, Book 92, Number 450, narrated Amr bin al as, Whoever doesn't obtain knowledge on childhood will not be vanguard on oldhood. Gore al Hikam p. 697. Whoever doesn't listen to wise men, his wisdom will die. Behar al Anbar v. 1 p. 53. Listening to the scholars are very important. If you will only base your knowledge by your our expectations, there is a high possibility for you to gone stray. Obtaining knowledge is obligatory for any Muslim. Behar al Anbar v. 1 p. 177.